us pray. We are in your presence again this holy Sabbath, Heavenly Father. We have been out here for five weeks. We just come by here again today to give you praise and to give you thanks, to worship you, and we are so grateful that we can worship you under peaceful conditions. Oh God, we trust that our worship would be a worship that is in spirit and in truth today. We thank you, God, for your many, many blessings. For the most part of these meetings, we have had sunshine. In the latter end, we have had rain. And we thank you for the sunshine and for the rain. We know that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and to those who are called according to his purpose. And so in a special way, I thank you for your people who have braved the weather. They have come out here to worship you. Some have come out, O oh God, to give support to those who are going to be baptized today. Some have come out already with their minds made up to be baptized. Others have come out, O oh God, still in the valley of decision. Others have come out perhaps have not even given it a thought, but you have brought them here. And I believe that you have brought them here for a purpose. And so today, O oh God, as the final message from this desk of these meetings, would come to your people whom you have brought. We ask that you would complete that which you have started and do that which you alone can do for your name's praise, honor, and glory. We ask your God through your Holy Spirit to beat back the powers of darkness. We ask you to confuse the plans of the enemy and to bring his plans to naught today in the name of Jesus. We ask your God that you would indeed pull down demonic strongholds in this place. And that you would break addictions in this place, O oh God. We pray in a special way that you would break generational curses in this place. O oh God, manifest your power today and give your people freedom that can only be had in Christ Jesus. Oh, we wait on you. We wait on you. We wait on you, O oh God, believing that those who move your brought here your sheep will hear your voice. And they would step out to the call. They would run out to run to the altar and make their calling and their election sure, deciding for time and for eternity that they would serve Jesus. Some had accepted him as Lord and Master and Savior. They would go all the way with him, even into the watery grave of baptism. We wait on you, O God. And so we give you praise and we give you thanks. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Well, we have come to the end. After this one is our hands of fellowship this afternoon from 4.30. So we have come to the end. God has seen us through safely. Amen? Amen. God has seen us through safely. Amen. God has blessed. Amen? Amen? And we give him all the praise. We give him all the honor. We give him all the glory. I got a WhatsApp message a few days ago that some of my people from Caroline's church would be making their way up here today. Now I haven't been out, so I don't know if you are there, so are you there? Did you make it? Were you able to come down from that hill? I'm um, hearing some yes. <laughs> Just wait for me, wait for me. Okay, praise God. Put your hands together for them.
Yes, I'm seeing some here. And others are, are waiting at me. And uh, I got a message, a second message saying, be sure to, to note and, and uh, make sure to remember that um, you will be having lunch with us today. So these people in Karanj always like to feed me all the time. They come in quite up to the and we need a bad habit. But we will eat and drink and rejoice in Jesus. Amen? Amen? I thank God for you know your demonstration of your great love for me. I love you too. All of you from Karanj. I love all of you. I love all of you from Pinto and from, from Pula and Demerara and, and wherever you come from. Amen. Amen? Amen? Because of my love for you that I'm making this sacrifice. Amen. Made this sacrifice to preach the gospel to you. Amen? Amen? Yes, we are God's people and he has called us to live in love. Amen. And I'm not one of those men who are, who are hesitant to say, I love you. I love you. <laughs> no, I can't say that you are my partner. Okay? <laughs> this is not kind of talk that. <laughs> yes. You know, God is good all the time. Huh? God is good all the time. And it's it's so refreshing to be with God's people worshiping. Amen. Yes, to be with God's people, worshiping Him on His holy Sabbath. Can I imagine what heaven would be like? Yeah. Imagine what the earth made you would be like. You know, with all these different nations and towns and kindreds and, and people. What an experience that is going to be like. I'm going to be there. Oh, yeah. I, I am planning to be there. I'm going to be there. Because Jesus has done everything to ensure that I'm there. I only have to accept what he has done. Amen? He has done everything I said to ensure that every last one of us under this tent, every last person is saved. Jesus has done everything. There's nothing more God could do Nothing more God could do. We have now to accept or to reject that which God has done for us. Amen? Amen. Our message comes from Genesis chapter 19. It's entitled, Up, Get Out. Up, Get Out. And of course, before we get into Genesis 19, what, what, what text have I been throwing before you? As our first text since last Friday night. Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 20. Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 20. I've been leaving this text with you since last Friday night, two Fridays ago. And so we've been moving into our, our final week. I've been leaving this text with you. It's a sobering text. It's a sobering text, I said. Sober. The harvest is past. The summer is ended. And we are not a sobering text. The harvest is past. The summer is ended. And we are not saved. How can we interpret that and apply that to us here this morning? What can we read into that text? The crusade is the crusade is over. The crusade is ended. The crusade is past. The preaching is ended. Preaching is past. Preaching is And therefore, you need to make sure somebody is saying that you are saved. You need to make sure you are saved. Not planning to, but make sure that you are saved. I said not 
planning to, but make sure that you are saved. God has given us, therefore, another salvific opportunity. Amen? Amen. He's given somebody today, here and now, another salvific opportunity. Today, the call of God comes again to you. Today, you have another opportunity to choose Jesus as your Lord and your Master and your Savior. Another opportunity to obey Him by going all the way with Him into the watery grave of baptism. For He said, He that believeth and is baptized, the same shall be saved. It's another opportunity. Are you free? It's another opportunity. We go to Genesis chapter 19. Genesis chapter 19. We begin to read from verse 1. Genesis chapter 19. And there came two angels, you will read today, and there came two angels to Sodom at evening, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom, and Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground, and he said, Behold, now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him. Are you with me? And they entered into his house, and he made them a feast, and did bake on them bread, and they did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter, and they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us. Are you with me? Yes. That we may what? Know them. And Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Behold now, I have two daughters. How many? Two daughters. Behold now, I have two daughters. Who have not known? Man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you. And do eat them as is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing. For therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. And they said, Stand back. And they said again, This one fellow came into sojourn. And he will needs be a what? A judge? Now we what? Now we what? Deal worse with thee than with them. And the press saw upon the man even Lot and came near to the to break the door. But the men what? Put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house to them and shut to the door. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house of what? With blindness, both small and great, so that they weary themselves to find the door. And the men said to the Lord, Hast thou here any besides? Son in law, and thy sons, and thy daughters? And whatsoever thou hast in the city, Bring them out of this place. For we will do what? Destroy this place because 
the cry of them is but too great before the face of the Lord. And the Lord had sent us to destroy it. And Lot went out and spake unto his sons in law, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place. Up, get you out of this place. For the Lord will destroy this city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons in law. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife and upon the hand of his two daughters the Lord being merciful unto them and they brought him forth and set him without the city and it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said escape for thy life Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. And Lot said unto them, Oh, not so, my Lord. Behold now, thy servant hath found grace in thy sight. And thou hast magnified thy mercy which thou hast shown unto me in saving my life, and I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me and I die. Behold now, this city is near to thee, unto, near to thee unto, and it is what? A little one. Oh, let me escape thither. Is it not a little one? And my soul shall live. And he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing also, that I will not overthrow this city. For the which thou hast spoken. Haste thee. What will have been told? Haste thee. Escape thee. For I cannot do anything till thou become thee. Therefore, the name of the city was called Zohar. The sun now risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zohar. Then the Lord did what? Rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground but his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt up get out angels came visited Lot, found him at the gate, came with an important, all-important message to Lot, that they might inform Lot of that which God was about to do. The iniquity of Sodom and Gomorrah had reached its full, and God was now about upon them fire and brimstone. He was now about to bring retributive judgment upon Sodom and Gomorrah for their wickedness. The Bible tells us they were so wicked that the men who came to visit Lot they desired to have them that they might know them 
They desire to have them that they might have relations with them. They desire to have them. And Lot pleaded for the men. Said, I have two virgin daughters. You can have my virgin daughters, but leave the men alone. The Bible tells us old and young of Sodom and Gomorrah. They said, no, we don't want your virgin daughters. We want the men. Here, the 
let somebody know it's time to get up and get out. I said it's time to get up and get out. I said it's time to get up and get out. Because God is about to rain fire and bring sword upon sin and sin. God 
is a God of love, but he's also a God of justice. I said he's a God of love, but he's also a God of justice. When he has given opportunity, when he has given every chance, when he has done all that he could do, and man hardens his heart, then the God of justice, I said the God of justice, must indeed execute justice. God 
God is going to create a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Righteousness. Holiness to the Lord. Amen. He's speaking to us today. He's saying, Up. Come out. For time is running out. Snatch them by the hand. And brought them out. Amen. The Lord, the Bible said, rain the fire and brimstone and destroy the cities of the plains. And the end, uh, an even sadder commentary at Lot's wife. <laughs> So much in sorrow. I said our heart was wrapped up, tied up, tumbled up in sorrow. She was coming out, but her heart was still in sorrow. Oh, how sad it is. Coming out, but her heart is still. In and sometimes we are in church in body, but our heart is still in sorrow. I said we are in church in body, but our minds are still in sorrow. We are here because of a husband, perhaps. Here because of a wife, perhaps. Here because of a parent, perhaps. Here because this is what they have accustomed, accustomed to. But our hearts are not really in this thing. Our hearts are not really in this thing. We are just going through she was going through the motions. Her heart was very much in Sodom. And so it came to the point where she could not keep it back. The Bible says she looked back and perished. Became a pillar of soul. Look back and perish. God has brought you this far. I said God has brought you this far. I said God has brought you this far. Jesus has done all that he could do. He has done everything. He has been good to you. He has scared your life. While the enemy wanted to kill you. While you were even deserving of death. But God in his grace and in his mercy has spared your life. He has delivered you. He has given you the opportunity to come under this tent and to listen to his word. You are not here by chance. You are not here by accident. You are here by providence. I said you are here by providence. God's overall providential plan for your life. He saw that you would be here, that you would be listening to this preacher's voice on this final Sabbath morning of Christ for the crisis gospel explosion. He has brought you thus far. Are you going to now look back? Are you going to now look back? I went around, look back, having come thus far. Or are you going to heed God's command, up, get out? He's calling somebody today to get out, to 
get out of sin. He's calling somebody there to get out of all systems of worship. Get out from those places where they are telling you that God's law is no longer to be kept. Get out from those places where they are telling you there is no Sabbath in the Bible to be kept. Get out from those places where they are telling, they are telling you that Sunday the first day of the week is the Sabbath in the Bible to be kept. God is saying, get out. I say, get out. Get out from those places where they are telling you that when you are dead, your soul is still alive, wandering someplace. Get out of those places where they are telling you you can keep a service to take your soul out of purgatory and have it make its way into heaven. Get out of those places. Get out. A few, uh, a few days ago, I sat down there and, and the minister was saying that, uh, that your mother is in a better place. Your mother is in, is in, is in heaven in a, in a better place. In the one voice he's saying your mother is in heaven in a better place. And in the other voice he's saying we, we have a hope that one day Jesus will come and she shall be resurrected. I sit down there and I grind him. Yeah. You know how preachers are preachers? Yeah. You're grinding. Yeah. And the church pack. Yeah. It's the Lord have mercy. God is saying, get out yeah. of that kind of confusion. Yeah. That's confusion, that's all. Yeah. How could you be in heaven yet at the same time be waiting for the resurrection? Get out of common law living. Get out of adultery. Get out of fornication. Young girl, young man, don't you let any man stop you from serving Jesus. Let no woman stop you from serving Jesus. Nobody can serve you. When water becomes more than flour, that same girl who you think love is me. Why? You know nothing now. As you open your say when water becomes more than thought. You are your own. Man will always disappoint you. You must put your trust in Jesus. And trust your life in the hands of Jesus. Amen. God is calling somebody now. It's time for the call. It's time. To go out, call God's people, get organized and get into the water. Amen. We have been waiting long, long enough. And so I ask you to stand with me at this time as I pray. God is calling somebody this morning. God is calling somebody this morning. God is calling somebody this morning. We are not running out, Church of God. Saints of God, God's people, we are not running out. This is our final Sabbath. Amen. God has brought his people here who want to be baptized today. Some have already decided. And others are to decide today. Amen. Some have come already decided, and others are to decide today. So we are not running out. So you hear me, God's people? Amen. We are standing up, we are singing, we are rejoicing. You hear me, God's people? Amen. When we used to go party, standing up eight and nine and ten hours. Whole night we prancing up and down in that party, grinding in corner to corner. Amen. I said grinding in corner to corner. We rent a spot. So we rent a spot. We come in church now and we leg us so weak. We used to give the devil more than we give him God. It's a shame. How could we be giving God less than we used to give to death? We ought to be giving God more. Amen. Because he has given us his best. 
Let us pray this morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your son who's already standing at the altar. We pray for the other sons and daughters who must now come. Holy Ghost, strengthen them. Strengthen them. May fathers take sons and mothers take daughters. And parents take children and grandparents take grandchildren and bring them to the altar. May friends bring friends now to the altar of God. To make their calling the election. Holy Ghost, do what your Lord can do. Ask. In the name of Jesus. God is calling somebody now. Now it's time to come to the altar. Take your vow and get into the water. God is calling you to come now. Come on from where you are. You've come for baptism this morning. Take a walk. And just now. You've come for baptism this morning. God is saying, take a walk. And you just now. Move quickly. Move quickly. Don't hesitate now. Don't go back now. Now is no time to be like Lot's wife. I said, now is no time to be like Lot's wife. You've come for baptism. There's a couple to be baptized and married. Come quickly to your Amen. Come quickly this morning. A couple to be baptized and married. Come quickly. God is strong. We're going from wherever you are. Come. Amen. Come to Jesus this morning. Amen. Come, 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 come. Get out. Get up. And come. I say, get up. Get out. And come to the altar this morning. Come. Settle to Jesus this morning. Get up, I say. Get out and come. Young people, some young people came here last night. God is saying, come. Get up. Get up and come. Come to Jesus this morning. Sing, my sister. Just sing for us. God is calling his people. God is calling his people. Come. Come. This is no time to hesitate. You can't come this far and turn back now. I say, you can't come this far and turn back now. You can't come this far and give the devil the victory. You can't come this far and give the devil the victory. You can't come this far and give the devil the victory. I say you can't come this far and give the devil the victory. Young man, God is calling you. Young woman, God is calling you. Grandmother, God is calling you. Mother, God is calling you. You can't come this far and turn back now. You can't give the devil the victory now. Break away and come. We are waiting on you. We are waiting on you. You know who you are. I'm seeing you come. In the name of Jesus. I said there is power in the name. God is calling us. He's calling. He's calling. 
He's able to break the chain. He's able to give you the victory. But you must give him the goal ahead. There is
That's why you are here despite the weather. You are here. Oh Lord God. We wait for you to do what your own can do. Move, move. Do, a, do something. A new thing in this place. And bring your people to the altar. And to the water as we wait. In Jesus' name. I will follow thee, my Savior. Where swear my Lord may be. Where thou goest, I will follow. Yes, my Lord. I will follow thee. Who is stepping out now? Who was planning to do it later, but you are saying, you see this later thing? I'm doing it now. I'm not trusting later. I'm not trusting tomorrow. I'm not trusting next week. Perhaps somebody came here saying later, next week, tomorrow, some other time. God is saying you need to move away from that. Forget that. Change your mind about that and do it now. Because now is what you have. Today is the day you have. If you are free to do it now, God is saying do it now. I said if you are free to do it now, God is
You see, my anguish of spirit, no matter the fact that you are not making that decision for Jesus. I want to have a special talk with you up front and a special prayer with you. Anybody want to come? Anybody want to come? Anybody, anybody want to come close to the preacher? Let me talk to you close up. Let me talk to you close up. This is serious. Let me talk to you close up this morning. This afternoon, this is serious. Let me talk to the preacher close up. Look into my face. As I look into your face, my girl. Mommy and daughter. Are you? Praise God. Praise God. Anybody else want to come? Mommy and daughter. Father and son. Mommy and daughter. Your mommy has brought you my young, 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 young man, young boy is here, he has come. Amen. Who represents him? Who come? Who, who's here with him? Amen. 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 Praise he God. has come. Praise mommy? Amen. Auntie? What is it? Tell me. Auntie. Amen. God is speaking. Time is running out. Yes. Do you want to serve God, my boy? Do you love Jesus? Do you want to be saved? Yeah. Do you want to be baptized? Yeah. Yes, 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 These young people, you all came up and asked me for baptism. What has happened? What has happened? You all came up for baptism. Have you changed your minds on Jesus? What is stopping you all from following Jesus? What is stopping you all? What is stopping you all from following Jesus? You can't turn back now. I said you can't turn back now. Remember I told you last night of that 15 year old boy. Remember I told you last night when you heard the news of that 15 year old boy being killed in an uncomfortable thing in Valencia, that 15 year old boy. He wasn't too young to die. They didn't say he's so young, we will spare his life, we will kill him. They killed him. And I said last night, if he had been coming to this crusade five weeks ago, his story would have been different. Isn't that so? Yes. It would different. Young people, young girls, boys, girls, I, I was 17 when I surrendered my life to Jesus. No mommy brought me. No auntie brought me. I had no mother to support me. I had no auntie to support me. No brother, nobody. I was the only one in our house with rum and weed and back and out. At 17, Jesus stood by me. I, Jesus stood by me. And kept me over 40 years in the church. 40 plus years in the church. Amen? Yeah. You know what happened after I accepted Jesus? In my little village, three, listen to me carefully everyone, three, three of the men who were hung with Dolcelli by Ramesh, you know what? Three of them were of my age and from my village. We played cricket together. We played football together. One of them in particular, I almost used to live by the house. What am I saying? I'm saying that Jesus took me from the gallows. I could have been among those hand, but I surrendered my life to Jesus. Amen? I was young. I didn't make it, I haven't made any jail. There were others who died from AIDS. You hear me? And even today, there are others from that same village who are on death row. Friends, people who I grew up with, young boys I grew up with, you play together. Jesus took me from that. If I did not accept Jesus, I could have been among them. Yes, sir. Not so? Yes. Young men, yes. there are gangs outside there, waiting. gang leaders outside there, yes. waiting for you. Yes. Waiting to give you a 
balance for change. Waiting to put some weed in your hand to go and push. Waiting to give you a gun. They're outside there waiting. What we are trying to do is to save you from that. We are trying to save you from becoming like that 15 year old woman. That's all we are doing here. That's all we are doing, trying to save you from that. Will our efforts be in vain? Or will you respond to this one? Yes, sir. Walk across the journey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I go. Yes, sir. I ain't sure if I could keep it in picture, but I go. I get anxious. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Will you? Will you? Will you? Give Jesus a chance. Will you try to be able to do it, but Jesus is able. Give him a chance. Young girls. You give Jesus a chance? Give Jesus a chance. You will not be said, my sister. He wants to follow Jesus. He wants to be baptized. Could that happen to me? It's your call, I believe, more than his call because you are the adult. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have done all that we could do. I have preached for five weeks. 